In this video, we're going to talk about another area of GIMP that you can create your own elements that can be saved for later use. In a previous video, we talked about creating brushes, but you also have patterns available to you whenever you're designing and working inside of GIMP. Now, some of these patterns are a little bit on the loud side, but you can actually create your own if you so choose to do so. A little bit different from brushes, it's not so much that we come in here and we actually open a pattern. Instead, what it is, is you design the pattern, and then what you do is you save the pattern as a pattern file type that is recognizable by GIMP. Now, you can also, too, you can see you have some very small little blocks here, but what you actually need to do is when you go under File New, you're going to want to set it to about 500 by 500 pixels. That's a pretty good size. The big thing is it, is, is it has to be squared. So, and it's going to go ahead and grab that background for me, which is fine. And actually, I'm going to keep this as is. I was working with a gradient tool previously, so I'll go ahead here. And I'm actually going to add a gradient into the design here by clicking and dragging. And then maybe I come back under the brushes here. And I'll go ahead here. Let's lock down my layers so that I don't work with it. And let's make a brand new layer. And I'll call this stars. And maybe now I'll take one of the brushes that I made here, change the color here a little bit, make it a little bit of a brighter color. And let's go to my brush tool. Let's take a look here. It's a little big. So we'll go ahead and take down the size. And just kind of add some star prints on it there. Now, not the most perfect of perfects here. I mean, I could even balance it out a little bit and maybe add a couple more just up on the top here. But what I'm going to do now is when you're ready to take an image and you'd like to convert it into a pattern that you can use at a later point in time, you can go ahead and whenever you choose file, you need to export as. And now, whenever you're looking at the select by file type extension, you're going to have to do a little digging through here. And what you're looking for is under the G's, you're looking for GIMP pattern, which is a PAT file. Now, GIMP gives you the option of saving this file really in any location that you want. So like, for instance, maybe I call this my first pattern. One thing that I'd actually advise students to do though is whenever you're working with patterns, GIMP does actually have its own setup within the GIMP2 folder. Whereby, for instance, if I navigate to local program GIMP2 and it's the share folder that you're looking for, then under the share folder you have yet GIMP again 2.0 and then this is the location here where you can actually see that you have those brushes, files, any of the fonts that you're working with, but then patterns as well. GIMP likes to kind of group its patterns by certain types, and I'll talk about that in a moment whenever we jump back in. I'm going to guess this is maybe like a sky type of pattern since I made it with little stars on it. All right, once you've done that, there you go. Now, one thing you do want to note is that you do need to make sure that you're an admin on your computer. But now, also just to take you through real, real quickly as far as what we've done here, and I'm going to go ahead and resave just uh, the file that I'm working on here, is under the patterns, the reason that I wanted to show you those folders is because on the drop down here, as far as filters go, it's a little hard to see, but you can actually filter and click on each of the words and see what type of elements that are available to you there as far as each of your different items there. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to refresh my patterns using that button there. It might take a couple of tries there. But now you can see here, like, so I think I put this under, I want to say sky, refresh again. I can't remember which one I put this under here. 
it's this one right here. Yep, so there's my first pattern. So if I were to go ahead here and say File, New, and let's go ahead and choose a template. Advanced Options, Fill with Pattern, and I have my pattern highlighted. I'll say OK. Tell it OK. And there you can see it filled with my pattern that I created. So again, a couple of things. Number one is you do have to be an admin when you're saving that directly into the folder on the program files. But what's nice about this now, it is grouped in and stored with the other patterns. So you can keep adding to patterns and call upon them as needed. And also as well, you can use them as fill options that you can work with to make, you know, just some unique things that if you're not happy with the options you have here, you can create your own.